Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia from Alicia Be Creative and today's video is yet another Tumblr tutorial. So I actually had a comment on one of my YouTube videos a while back asking me to create a Tumblr tutorial with like the celestial, mythical, mystical type theme in mind and I sat there a little bit stumped trying to figure out how I could pull off such a beautiful and elegant thoughtful design with my own of course spin and twist. I was immediately inspired when I received this brand new vinyl from Tech Craft Craft. It's like galaxy sparkle and I just knew that I had to put this on a cup and I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to use it. So I'm going to show you how I put together today's tutorial and of course everything I use in today's video will be listed and linked down in the description box down below. Of course, check that out for discount codes as well as links to all of my social media. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's tutorial. All right, so today I am starting with a 32 ounce taper from a Maker Flow crafts. I've already prepped this by just sanding it and I have gone ahead and wiped that clean with a bit of 91% rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. And I'm going to be using this Tech Wrap Craft vinyl called Nebula Glitter Brush Nebula Purple. And it really is just a beautiful galaxy style vinyl and it was just something that was so inspiring that I knew would be perfect for this cup design I had in mind. So the first thing I'm doing is I am taping off a very deep V, very similar to what I would do for a V slip, V split tumbler design. And what I'm trying to do is kind of create this really deep V that kind of goes right down to the very bottom of the cup there. So you're going to see I'm going to mess with the kind of taping a little bit here just to make sure that it is kind of the perfect width around the cup and that it really matches evenly. Now, yes, I could have gone into Cricut Design Space and cut a triangle and just done it that way, but I am just someone who wants to do trial and error, and so I usually will do things kind of the hard way <laughs> instead of making it easier for myself, and this is just because I don't always necessarily know what is going to be inspiring for my design. So I've now cut a piece of that glitter brush nebula purple vinyl and I've cut a large enough section to cover up this deep V that we're going to be covering up with this nebula glittered design. So I'm going to remove the backing altogether and we're going to get this section covered up. So what I did notice about this tech wrap vinyl is that it is much thicker than some of the other vinyls. I know that depending on what style vinyl you get from them really does determine the thickness and all I've really used for tech from Tech Wrap Craft has been the vinyl. And so this one was a little bit thicker than like their regular solid color vinyls, but very similar to the, the thickness of the glitter vinyl that you may have picked up from Tech Wrap Craft. So I'm going to now take my craft knife now that that is covered over that deep V section I created with my painter's tape and just remove all the excess by just using my squeegee tool to help me find the tape line and then use my craft knife to very carefully cut along that tape line removing any of the excess that was covering over the tape. So I'm going to do that with both sides. You certainly again could just get this cut on your Cricut if you knew the dimensions of the triangle space you're going to be using but I'm just showing you kind of how you can do this without having to get out that Cricut or Silhouette machine and cut a shape. So we're just going to trim all this up cutting off all the excess including this top section here as well and then this is kind of the start of the design so this was a design that was kind of ever-changing I really wanted to use this vinyl and really it was one of these designs where I thought I knew where I was going with it and then things definitely started to change and warp into a different design so I'm going to remove the tape that I had originally created there to start that vinyl area and I'm going to retape that section so that I can go ahead and get this glittered so we're just going to put another Thing of painter's tape, one inch painter's tape I'm using here to cover up this vinyl. And this is just going to protect it from the glue and Mod Podge we're going to be using so we can glitter the rest of the cup. You will also notice that I haven't done any base painting on this cup. You can totally base paint this cup. I just didn't actually know which glitter color I was going to be using. And I decided to toy around and mess with a mix that I created myself with some glitters that I pulled out of my off my glitter shelf to create a really 
beautiful like color shift glitter custom mix and so because I wasn't really sure what the color base was going to be I just decided that I would do it right over the stainless steel so you always have the option to base paint if you choose with either spray paint or acrylic paint but in this case I just decided to go right over the stainless steel so I'm mixing up three colors here this is mermazing I have Perfectly Pink and Comet. They're all from my Aisha Creations and two of which are a really beautiful color shifting glitter of like green and blue and purple. And then I'm throwing in the pink there as well to kind of match that nebula purple vinyl that we're using from Tech Craft Craft. So this is the custom mix that we're going to be using. It is absolutely beautiful and really gives me really amazing mermaid vibes. But this is going to be the glitter base for our tumbler. So of course now we're going to apply our glitter to our tumbler. Taking a wet and wild brush, my absolute favorite, I grabbed these up from the dollar store. They are great for applying paints and glues to tumblers. And we're going to do a nice even coat of this Mod Podge all over the exposed stainless steel area. We've obviously taped off the vinyl area to make sure that we don't get any glitter or glue on that section and to keep that nice and clean. And then we're gonna go in with our custom mix. And I have to say, I really am loving how beautiful this mix came out. I don't often get to toy around with different mixes of glitters just because usually, you know, customers have specific orders and specific colors in mind they'd like to use, but it's really nice to be able to play around with glitter and mix my own custom mixes. And this one is just one of those ones I definitely will be recreating and using over and over. So we're going to get this entire area covered with our custom mix here and make sure that we don't have any stainless steel exposed after this coat of glitter. I did only do one coat of glitter mostly because I knew that I probably was going to turn this into somewhat of a peekaboo style so I wasn't really too worried about any little tiny pieces of stainless steel that might have been exposed just because there isn't going to be a whole lot of this glitter exposed in the final design. After the Mod Podge was dry, I did spray seal the tumbler and then put it on the turner for two coats of epoxy. Both coats of epoxy were about 30 mLs each, and that was all I really needed to get this cup completely smooth. And so now, of course, we're on to sanding that top rim to make sure we get a nice fine line of stainless steel. I'm going to go a little bit deeper on this rim because we are going to turn this into a peekaboo, and so I want to make sure that the paint does cover up that top line and that we don't get any weird bumps or weird, you know, bubbles and roughness around that top edge. We're also going to clean up the bottom rim of the cup as well, really making sure that we are knocking down any sharp bits along the bottom edge from any of the chunky glitter that may have got stuck to that bottom edge, and then doing a complete once over of the cup since this has been sitting on my turner for over 24 hours. Now that we have done that, we will clean this off with a little bit of 91% rubbing alcohol, and now it is time to get into adding our decal so we can create our final design for this tumbler. So this is another piece that I sort of threw in here and decided to do with this cup. So what I am doing is I'm taking my painter's tape yet again. I seem to really love painter's tape for this tutorial. And I am creating a diamond shape out of this on this sort of uh, nebula galaxy vinyl. OK, and so this was tough. I definitely would probably in hindsight have tried would have tried to cut a diamond shape that was large enough for this section on my Cricut um, because it did not meet up completely on the top with a beautiful like sharp point like the bottom did but I kind of just went with it because again this was one of those designs that just kept changing as I kept working with it and I kept just going back and forth on different ideas and then I would be inspired to add something else and then it would change again and so this was just one of those things so I definitely would encourage you that if you're going to recreate this to just cut the diamond out like a stencil that you can cover in that section out of just some stencil vinyl similar to what I did with these moons and uh, stars here on this uh, stencil vinyl here so we're gonna add now that that section of diamond is covered up in the front we're going to add these crescent moons as well as these little stars to the cup so I did remove the little inner crescent of that and I'm actually using those pieces which normally would be something you'd weed and throw out I'm using those as also smaller crescent moons to kind of cover up some of the section that is glittered so we have a really beautiful exposed glitter underneath these stencils so once I'm pretty satisfied with my placement I'm going to take this outside and we're going to go ahead and spray paint 
So make sure to give those cans a real good shake, one minute each at least, making sure you get that all mixed up so that all your glitter is mixed and you don't get any sort of spurting or any issues with your spray paint coming out of the nozzle. We're going in completely over the entire cup with aromatherapy from Color Shot. And then I ended up picking up this glitter spray paint from Home Depot. It was originally supposed to be part of my studio makeover and I decided that I'm just going to use it as a regular spray paint. And so I wanted to try it with this cup and I thought maybe it would be silver, but it is silver, but it really is just silver glitter. So I got a beautiful glittered design on top of this purple aromatherapy color from Color Shot, and it's gorgeous. So once all the paint dried, of course, I'm now going to take my weeding tool and remove all of those stencil pieces to expose that beautiful glitter underneath. And then we can get into adding our final decals. So this is a white printed decal from Banff Custom Creations. She has sticker cows all on her site. She has some amazing designs. I encourage you to check her out. I have used some sticker cows from the same sheet before from in previous tutorials, but I will again link that down in the description box so you can go ahead and grab up some of her newer sticker cow designs. So I'm just going to place this beautiful like white printed moon and star into the center section of my diamond, which is going to be the focal point of my tumble. So I'm going to use the hinge method here to get this applied. And what I love about these is that they are so easy to apply. It's literally just like applying a sticker, hence probably why it's called the sticker cow. But I just love how easy and quick it is to get these applied. And I don't have to worry about weeding such an intricate design like this. I can only imagine how that would turn out and it probably would not look anything like it's supposed to. <laughs> so after I am done with that, I'm now going to take a couple of the other stencils that I I had cut out of the Tech Rep Craft Glitter White Vinyl, and we're going to add these cute clouds that I picked up. So the stencils that I cut out of Stencil Vinyl and these clouds, they were all from some SVGs that I grabbed from Creative Fabrica when I was putting together this original design. I saved quite a few of them or downloaded quite a few of the different sort of designs to kind of inspire this myth mystical design. And so I will link all of those down in the description box. Also be sure to check out the all access that you can get for just $19 a month with my code and with my reference code that would get you free access and you get free files that you can literally use for any project. So no more having to spend a couple dollars on Etsy or other places. You'll be able to have all access for only $19 a month. And for your first month, it's only a dollar. So after I was done with applying the clouds, I'm now going to use my paint markers. I'm using both a silver and white paint pen marker to just add some more kind of dots to kind of resemble stars on this cup here. I just felt like there was a lot of open space. And because I didn't have a whole lot of glitter exposed, I felt like I needed to add just a little bit more to this. To round things out, before we go ahead and get this back on the turner, I'm going to add some holographic silver washi tape, which I felt like just really spoke to the silver glitter that was on top of this with the spray paint and really just spoke to the very sparkly design that I was going for for this overall aesthetic. So I'm just going to follow sort of the edges of my diamond here that I created with my painter's tape and get my washi tape on here and cut off any of the excess or any overlap that I have to kind of just frame out this diamond and just really make this front section, my focal point of the tumbler, really pop. So you could certainly wait until you've done a coat of epoxy before you do your washi tape and kind of final vinyl lines. I like to try and skip as many steps as possible. So if I do have a smooth enough cup, especially when I'm doing something like a peekaboo, if I can get vinyl decals, I'm going to try and get as many of those vinyl decals on as possible. That way it can cut down on the amount of epoxy that I need to add to the cup overall. Because cups can certainly get pretty bulky when you start to have to add more and more layers. So that went back on the turner for two final coats of epoxy. In my first coat, I did add a little bit of nebula and mermazing to the top coat of this just to give it a little extra sparkle because I mean, why not? And so this is the final look of the cup. I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's tutorial and I hope that it inspires you to create something similar or recreate this tutorial in itself. So definitely make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again soon.